Well, you are studying pharmacology day in and day out, but still you are struggling with the same doubts. Still you are struggling with remembering all the classifications. You are confused whether to which books to prefer and whether online platforms or offline lectures. And if online platforms, then which platform? At the same time, you are also confused that whether I should make notes or or I shall use the notes which are provided to me. So. All these questions are covered in this video so please make sure you check out the video and watch it to the entire length and also do not forget to like share and subscribe and this video trust me is a very dedicated video because i myself have scored distinction in pharmacology i never failed in any of my pharmacology exams so yes this includes my tip or my secret advice for you so that you can also score a distinction in pharmacology so please make sure you check the entire video and let's get started so hello again i'm your host and those nisar patel who's back with an amazing video on how to study no no we just do not study but we also ace in our exams and that's why this video on pharmacology is so personal because i myself loved pharmacology so much and that's why i thought that i shall make this video well up till now reading pharmacology you might have felt that it is just like anatomy that is it is very lengthy and difficult at the same time but don't worry uh, this is just the beginning and for this i read an amazing quote by robert frost that the only way out is through so okay let's focus on all the difficulties which you might be facing but you will not face it after the end of this video so let's get started well before studying any subject you should know what is the purpose of reading that subject so first of all our purpose is just to clear this year and we do not want any back in pharmacology so what do you need to study in pharmacology is drugs but related to drugs you need to know their mechanism of action their classification of the drug groups what is the use what are the pharmacological actions of these drugs on the other systems of our body and at the end how are they integrated into the disease management So the questions in your theory exam will just revolve around these four or five topics. So isn't it simple? <laughs> yeah, it is not that simple. But you need to just focus on what are the important drugs related to each and every system. Now we know what do we need to study, but we do need the resources to study. So next, a lot of people are confused whether I should prefer textbooks or I shall use online platforms. Well, you should use both. and you should switch on according to the need of the exam whether it is an mcq exam or a theory exam so i have made dedicated videos on the topics that which textbook you shall use and which online platforms you shall use so please click on the i button above and watch those videos so that you have a broader perspective and you can select one of out of one of the all choices wisely but uh, to give you an overview In terms of textbooks, KDT, Shan Bag, Harsh Joshi are great books. And in terms of online resources, a lot of people use either of the two, either Ankit Sir or G R G Sir from Cerebellum. So, and at the end, I would like to give you a very big warning in terms of textbook is that do not use Shan Bag as your mainstay textbook. Now, why so? Because see, KDT is this thick book, and Shan Bag is just this thin. so what's the point if you just want to uh, learn something in terms of clearing an exam well you will struggle a lot if medicine if you just skip on to all the concepts and miss out on all the concepts to be precise so yes do not use shan bag that is a big no no and a big mistake which everyone makes but you shall not because you are watching this video and make me proud by choosing kdt at least so let's move on to the next part So this part of the video includes how do you approach studying pharmacology. Well, I have designed this method, and this method has also been included in terms of preparation of pathology and microbiology. So this method has actually proved so fruitful to me, and that is why I am dedicating this method to you as well. But feel free to modify it according to your needs. So first of all, I used to start dedicating two or three days to pharmacology in a week, and I used to start by watching an online video. I use I preferred Ankit Sir's video and they were so addictive that I sometimes spent my entire week watching just pharmacology and skipping on patho and micro but you shall not do that dedicate 2 days for pharmacology start with an online video then 
uh, annotate at the same time in the notes if you have the printed ones or i would suggest that make your own notes because sometimes you can explain yourself in your own language the big and bulky comp- uh, concept and next on sundays or i would rather say that before your theory exam sit and read the textbook because i preferred kdt and kdt was a bit bulky to prefer in the initial days so i uh, prepared from kdt for my theory exams a month before that by preferring to the imp list then noting down all the points which were missing in the online video notes so that i was also preparing for my theory exams and as well as i was also preparing for my neat pg in terms of pharmacology and at the end on sunday or whichever day i felt like i used to sit down and solve mcqs and sometimes i struggled a lot in some chapters but at the end those chapters were the strongest for me for example hyp anti hypertensive drugs or anti microbials i had to revise them multiple times but at the end when you revise them four to five times they become a piece of cake so yes you should revise pharmacology as much as you should revise microbiology as well so next comes the most important doubt of every student is that how do i remember the classifications well i use this method which is based on the principle of spaced repetition and visual memory so what do i used to do was i used to write the classification on a piece of a4 size paper then i used to stick it on my pin board and for at least 2 3 days i used to stare at them let's say for example it's a monday whenever i wake up i used to just glance through that paper and the next time when i return from the college and before bedtime so on one day i used to glance this a chart for 3 times and i used to do this for 2 3 days in a week and on this sunday or before my exam what i used to do was just write it in a piece of paper just by actively recalling what i had glanced and magic happened i actually remembered the entire classifications and i never used to struggle it and also what you can do is have a study companion question them on classification so that he or she will also remember and you will also remember if you are challenged so yes these two methods worked out for me great and you should also follow them entirely well i know you will definitely ask this question in my comment section is that whether to make notes or not so yes you shall make notes because making notes is like explaining yourself a complex concept in your own language so yes definitely make notes and i would highly emphasize on this point As Ankit sir has also told in his videos that please make your notes that beautiful that you are compelled to revise it again and again. And actually this works. Before any theory exam or any MCQ exam, your notes will only help you and not the printed ones. Well, if you want to use printed notes then make sure you annotate uh, whatever you have understood in your own language at the same place. But the problem is that the printed notes will have no space they'll provide just this thin space how will we write the entire concept there so yes make sure that you make your own notes be it in ipad or be it in paper i have done both of them and i loved both of them but yes uh, making notes in ipad is time consuming but it is worth it i feel like because you can use n number of colors and make it infinitely decorative and creative So yes I would highly emphasize on this point again that please make notes for pharmacology because it is not possible to revise the entire bulky KDT in just a week before your exams so yes make notes Well before going to my secret advice and my secret tip to score distinction I would like to address a very essential point that is that you shall purchase the latest edition of KDT and your teachers might have told you but at that time you might have felt that they are just promoting the book or i am just promoting this book but it is not true see the problem is that in your theory exam they will ask you the disease management but the disease management is not something which is stable it changes with time so the disease management also changes in every edition of the kdt and if they will ask you then you will be just blank or you will be just telling the management which was years ago So purchase the latest edition of KDT and prepare the latest management of any disease from KDT only. So please keep in mind this advice and do not ignore this also. 
So what is my secret to scoring a distinction in pharmacology and how did I never fail in a single exam in terms of pharmacology? Well, I followed the study advice which I gave you earlier that is two days to pharmacology watching in online lectures. And in online lectures I preferred PW method because it had Ankit sir's previous year lecture. At that time those lectures was just one or two years old so it did not have a major change but now they are 2 3 years old so i would not suggest you to watch it because a lot of advancements have been made in pharmacology and the drug treatment of a disease next i made notes and those notes were so beautiful that i was compelled to revise it again and again and before my theory exams i would also revise my notes but at the same time i used to read kdt and add the missing points to my notes Also I used to solve the important questions and the cases which were asked in our theory exams and I got them in terms of an IMP list from my senior and as being a responsible senior I have a role to share it to you as well so I'm putting the IMP list in the description box so please solve those questions before your theory exams trust me it will help you a lot the next is the most amazing point which i would like to share to you that my senior shared with me is that kdt itself offers you an ai so you do not need to use chat gpt because sometimes chat gpt does not become so accurate in terms of kdt so on the first page of your kdt that is if you have purchased your own latest edition they'll give you a scratch code so scratch it and then you will get access to a code put that code in a doctor wise application which is available on play store as well as on app store so you put that code and you will get access to the latest edition of kdt as well as you will get to access the ai that is you can compare and contrast different drugs different drug groups because this was a question which was asked in our theory exams repeatedly and it also gives you access to flash cards and it will make a short note for you so it is very helpful so these were all the points which helped me fast track my revision fast track my preparation in terms of theory exams for pharmacology the most important advice which i would also like to give you is that please do not ignore studying concepts and you should not be asking that how do i score distinction instead focus on asking the question that how do i learn concepts because by learning concepts you will become a doctor and you will become a doctor who makes the change and not bees the change so yes learn concepts every day learn something new which makes a change and you should not just focus on scoring a distinction because if you study concepts this all will follow you so yeah this video comes to an end but it is not the end it is just the beginning of your journey well whatever went down these 2 3 months in pharmacology in pathology in microbiology or in the entire second year forget it and consider this day as your fresh start so start preparing for your exams also start preparing your concepts so that you become a doctor who makes the change and also please like share and subscribe to this video and this channel to be precise because it helps me and motivates me to create more such content and i'll make sure that i put up so much great content and please make sure to follow me on instagram as well i have created an account and i have planned to start revising patho micro and far pack so yeah i'll post some short videos which will help you to learn something and also help me to revise as well so till then keep studying keep shining and always think out of the box bye bye